Hello guys, Salty Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Photocano. This was an anime that's similar to Amagi SS, and that was the reason why I wanted to give this anime a chance. Amagi SS and Photocano follow an anonymous format, where the main character gets together with one girl, a time reset occurs, and gets together with the other girls afterwards. I like this format because I like to see the main character getting together with different girls. It also lets me see the main character get together with the girls that I like. Too many times in anime series, I have seen the main character end up with a girl I didn't like. That was the case in the Shuffle anime. I was not happy when Rin ended up picking a girl I didn't like. In this anime, the main character Kazuya gets a camera from his dad and ends up bringing it to school. He soon gets into various awkward situations with different girls at school. In such a short time, he already talked to seven different girls. He uses his camera as a reason to want to get close to them and takes pictures of them. Kazuya learns about different issues each girl has to deal with in her life and is determined to help him out. For him spending much time for a girl, the girl falls in love with him, though some girls were already in love with him for a while now. The plot isn't that complex, it's a bit repetitive at times. It's basically the common route at first, where he talks to all the girls for several episodes, and then after that, each episode is dedicated to one girl. Kazuya gets together with one girl, then time reset occurs, and he gets together with a different girl. I wish the anime was a little less predictable. Like maybe shake things up and include a love triangle during one arc. The drama in this anime was something you typically see in a vision novel. It was drama like shallow friends too shy to confess each other, a girl feeling lonely, a girl that hates being around people, keeping a club room operating, giving a girl motivation to compete in a sport, and so on. If you're hoping for dramatic scenes like in Clanad, Canon, and Grisaya, you won't see that in this anime. I enjoy this anime though because with so many girls in the show, it was so entertaining to see how the romance would develop in different ways. The main character did various things to make the girls fall in love with him like always being there to cheer them on during the toughest moment, helping them keep their cooking club open, showing them that they can relax and not be serious all the time, and showing them that not everyone is selfish and cruel. Each girl had something unique about them and that made them interesting to watch. One girl acted like an amazing wife, one girl was an energetic tomboy, and one girl was a really serious girl that was really strict. It was entertaining seeing the main character act differently towards each girl based on their personality. Sometimes the main character acts like a serious character, but other times he acts relaxed and likes to tease a girl. The big negative of this anime is that most of the girls only had one episode in their arc. Usually in anime series like this, girls get four episodes for their arc, and at worst only two episodes. With only one episode for each girl, the romantic development in this anime felt really rushed. The way Kazuya got together with each girl felt way too quick. It didn't feel like proper romantic development. In terms of the characters, I liked some characters, while I didn't really care for others. Because there are so many characters in the show, I can't talk about all of them, but I will talk about some of them. Kazuya just felt like a perverted main character that also had a very serious side where he wanted to help a girl out. He didn't feel like that unique of a character. Haruka was a childhood friend that acted like a kind childhood friend you see so often in anime. Nothing special about her. I liked Aki because she acted so serious that it was funny seeing her act so relaxed at times. Rina was my favorite girl in the show because she acted like the perfect wife. The opening and ending for Sammy were okay, they weren't anything special. The music was good, it made certain scenes feel more impactful by having these emotional songs during those scenes. The image style for Sammy was okay, it wasn't that appealing to look at. The image for Sammy was okay, the characters moved around smoothly. I didn't notice any choppy animation. I would recommend to watch Sammy if you enjoyed Magi SS. Seeing the arcs be so rushed was disappointing, but it wasn't that bad to the point of being unwatchable. You won't get to see an anime in this omnibus format very often. I give this anime a 7 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.